In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can run your own A-B test experiment within Google Ads. Uh, but before I get into that, I wanted to quickly introduce myself. My name is Michelle Kopp. I am a Google Ads lead generation marketing expert and I help local service-based businesses generate leads through Google Ads, pay-per-click advertising. So if you're interested in getting an audit and you're spending at least 2,000 a month, you're looking for an audit or management, feel free to check out the link in the description below. Um, and you can reach out to me to see how I could potentially help you. Now let's go ahead and dive in and let me show you how you can set up your own ad variation experiment. So you would go to the search bar up here and type in ad variation. From here, you would click the blue plus icon and then you would just select the campaign that you would want to run the uh, experiment on. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to run it so that you can do an A-B test between two different URLs, URL A and URL B, um, as an example. Um, so if you have like one URL with like a headline, a specific headline and another URL with another specific headline, this is how you would go about running it within the platform without having to invest in super expensive software. Everything can all just be done within the Google ads interface. You would pick the campaign where you want the test to be done in, and then you can filter the ads so that it only, the, te the test is only done on certain ads with certain headlines. But in this case, I'm not going to, I just wanted to just do the test on all the ads in the campaign. Um, from here, what you can do is you can do a find and replace. And what this does is it will find the U it will find the ads with the URL in it um, that you want it to find, and then it will swap it out with another URL that you want to do the test on um, or do the test with. So in this case, I'm going to do URL A. Um, I want it to find all of the URLs with URL A in the final URL and replace it with final URL B. So that way it can do a, um, a test between the two. Now, here is what you're gonna wanna do next. You wanna click continue and then just create a name for it. I'm just gonna call it AB test. And then select the date you want it to start as well as the duration, 56 date, days is just the standard duration that Google gives you. You can also extend it if you need. And then here is the experiment split. So the experiment split will split the percentage of your campaign's budget that's allocated to your variation. Um, so basically, in this case, if you want to even split, you're going to just put it at 50%. So 50% goes to variant A and 50% goes to variant B and you let it run. Then from there, you create variation. And then once you cr click create variation, it's going to start uh, running the test for you on the day that you select. Um, and then from there, you just check on, on your ad variations. Um, and basically it would just show up right here. You'd be able to see all the metrics assigned to that. And you'd be able to see whether you want to implement it or not. Um, when I say implement, it means like changing the URL um, to the one that you, uh, the, the test variant. Um, or you can just keep running it until you get enough data. So you can do it on the URLs. You can also do it on the headlines too. So if you wanted to run an experiment on the responsive search ads and swap out and the responsive search ads, one says 75% off, another one says 30% off, or I, I guess that's a poor example, but I think you get the point. If you have variant A and variant B and you wanna swap out what it says in the headline, you certainly can do that in a very easy way by just selecting the ads and then telling it to do a find and replace in the headlines or descriptions, um, whatever whatever you're really looking to do. Uh, so you can do it for your um, in your ads, um, on the ads themselves or even in the URLs. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, drop them in the description or the comments I made below and I will be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, and please give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.